you're doing fine. I'm sitting next to the river in uh, Omkoi. Spent my first real day in Omkoi. I arrived uh, last night late, cold, freezing, because I got some rain. And the temperature is quite uh, uh, colder here because we are, I think, at uh, 900 feet altitude, 900 meters, 900 something. And uh, no. So today I went, uh, where did I go? Yeah, I went to get a, a coffee a bit outside of town, like 15 kilometers north of Omkoi. There's a place called a Soft Coffee and they, they grow their coffee beans. In fact, like they, they give their, how do you call that, seedlings to the farmers in the mountain everywhere in the region and uh, to grow the coffee for them. And after that, they buy it from them. Well, I don't know exactly the trade that they do, right? But uh, they get their coffee from the, from the farmers. And it was really interesting. I, I talked to mine who, who run the thing with her husband and it was really interesting like uh, she was explaining me that like uh, she's from Omkoi but like she spent like 10 days in Bangkok and uh, she also, always felt that she wanted to come back to her hometown and she did 10 years later and uh, she started this thing, this, uh, the, this coffee business they have diff different kind of variety and they are really trying new things like trying to plant some some geisha seeds which is like the very prestigious kind of coffee but very difficult to grow and like she was explaining me that so far it's not working but yeah i wish her good luck and after that meeting her uh, yeah she showed me her garden also yeah like it's really cool to see like the the coffee beans like to see the the process like uh, because normally we like everybody else we always see the the end product we drink it right but seeing like all the old process because it's not short right it's not just drying it's more than that and uh, it's really cool to to see this thing to see that people are devoid devoting their time to do that and that was a really really good experience there and i bought uh, quite a, a bunch of uh, of her coffee to to test and to bring it back to bangkok also uh, yeah. sorry i need a sip later on i just went a bit more north i went to the in the village like if you zoom in on google map you can see tons of village little villages mostly like uh, not mostly, but there's a lot of uh, Karen, Karyang people, but also many, many tribes. Like, uh, this is not like uh, Thai people. It's a bit different here. And this is why it's quite unique and different. And you feel remote. The town of Omkoi, which is the, the capital, right, of the of the district, like, there's one Seven Eleven, right? And uh, there's a few gas stations, but none of them have the, the, the brands like a PTT or Shell. I mean, in fact, there's one Shell, but... I doubt this is a real one. It looks a bit uh, sketchy. It looks like really like uh, that main town that uh, all the the farmers and the villagers like they they go to like to to buy their stuff, right? But still, it's very like uh, very quiet. I arrived yesterday at 8 p.m. Everything was closed. The time that I check in at my hotel, uh, and I was out like around nine after taking a warm shower. Like I went to eat, there was one noodle shop open and I was quite, quite happy to, to find this one. Still, there was a 7-Eleven. So I went to buy some, some snacks and one beer. Yeah, I mean, you get the feeling. This is the countryside here. We are like really deep into Thailand in the middle of the mountains. And uh, yeah, this is a unique place. And like, there's not tons of hotels. I mean, there are tons of hotels, but to be honest, you look on Google Maps, there's not tons of attraction. Like, it's more about traveling, experiencing the adventure, doing some some treks and or doing off-road, right? Like I did, I went to the small villages and like, I wanted like to do a big loop this afternoon, but seriously, like, uh, what's happening? And uh, I wanted to do a big loop and, uh, I don't mind to do off-road, but now I'm alone. This is a rainy season. You could see the big ruts and things like that. And uh, I mean, I went through quite quite a bit. And at some point, I'm like, yeah, okay, you may be getting too deep. I wish I would come back with my friends, right? So what's the plan now? Oh, maybe I, let me show you that the river. You can see like these two rivers on my left and on the right. They are converging together, and like you, we can really see the colors merging together. So it's really yeah, interesting. We can see the same thing in the west, no, in the east, in Isan, in Ubon. There's uh, the Mekong merging, merging with the Lamun River. And we can really see like... Uh... Yep, the camera died. So we are one day later in another district. We are not anymore in Omkoi. We are... 
this is what happens when you improvise. You you start to say something and you're not even clear about what you are gonna say. Wait a minute, so this is in hot district, right? I'm in the way, oh, somebody's coming. Yeah, so this is wrapping up that little vlog about uh, about Omkoy, about the great coffee place at the soft coffee and this little ride uh, around the little village that I did during the day. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out the next vlog. I'm going to show you where I am right now. It's really, really beautiful. See you next time.